Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. 2! The last episode, we took on the first half of Star World, but in this episode, we're taking on the second half, and including a castle, so what's inside there, we'll find out soon. We're still Luigi, we're also still many, which is very unacceptable and not something I want to be, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. World Star 5, I do need to get the rainbow at some point as well, so, uh, we'll keep that in mind as we go throughout this. Might actually not be a terrible idea to have the rainbow for this, but as you can see, we actually have a mechanic here. Uh, we have these Koopas which are weighing down these platforms. As long as they're even, they'll work out, but uh, if uh, there's a Koopa left over, as you can see, they'll actually break the platforms and, uh, they'll make the platforms fall. Which can make life a bit difficult when you're having these weighted platforms that actually have weights to mess with them, so you kind of have to counterbalance and use weights, and I almost didn't make that jump like an idiot. But uh, the other interesting thing to note is Lakitu's spinies will also count as weights, so you have to really be careful of Lakitu because he can mess up the weights and make your life difficult, and nobody wants that Lakitu. Why do you gotta be such a problem? We're heading back here because there actually is a golden thing over here as well. In fact, can I just go back here and murder these Koopas for extra coins? I can murder this one. Well, that would that just kind of went weird. That was actually kind of strange how that happened, but it gave me a decent amount of coins, so that was actually kind of profitable. I do still need this lack of two, though, because he actually is required for the first star coin. You actually follow those path of coins up here. You'll find your first, not star coin, moon coin. They're moon coins now. They've changed. They're different. Anyway, first half of this level, not too t terribly difficult. Uh, that's just kind of the stuff we missed down here. Uh, for the most part, you just have to watch out for lack of two, which is always a pain in the butt. You can also kill lack of two, by the way, using a that if you want to. It's kind of cool. You can just murder Lakitu using the blocks for once. Uh, but we're gonna head over here and I don't know where it's safe to land. Okay, here is safe to land. That happened. That was a little strange. Uh, we're gonna want to backtrack. Oh god, no, 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 no! That's precisely what I was warning about! There's the Koopas destroy the platforms! Ugh! I was gonna backtrack to get that star coin, but uh, and show off the bottom area there. But for once, my backtracking history has led to my untimely demise. The way to handle this, if you're not using Lakitu's cloud, by the way, grab this Koopa, murder him, quickly get past this before this guy's a problem. Oh god, this is just gonna end up poorly. Okay, I lost my everything's, but I can still get a mushroom here, and I can still. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna wait for this spiny to leave. There we go. That was risky, but it worked. Uh, as long as something's counterbalancing, it makes getting- Oh god, you know what? No, we're running. Just- I hate this level! Everything's unsafe! Okay, here's what we're going to do. A, you have to climb up this way. And then, uh, hop in this in order to kill Lakitu. And we head up here to grab a pipe, where our third star coin is. I hate this level, it's so stressful with the weights and everything. At this point, you know what? Screw it, I am so very much using this leaf, because- because that'll happen. Bye bye. Oh, there would be a level where Lakitu would screw my life over. I'll meet you guys when we get back to where I was. That was surprisingly cool how that- wow! The amount of just levels of pro that that was is off the charts. That was cool. I actually feel decently proud of myself for once in my life. Oh, well, never mind, that feeling has gone. It has ceased. Okay, this is just unsafe. Lacking to you, you've made this workplace a very uns. Get off my pipe! I'm leaving! This isn't safe! Lacking to screw you! Why are you have to be such a douche? Anyway, uh, that's where. That's how far back we. Or far forward we ended up. Can you not, Lacking to? Can, can we just. Oh, okay, that still apparently works. Alright, should we just, you know what, we're gonna actually wait it out here, in terms of, uh, the 99, because it's close enough, and I'm not gonna take any chances. So, uh, I'm gonna get this as high as I can here, just, just for extra chances to get to, uh, the top- oh, whoa, whoa! Wait. No, it's gonna be 98! I screwed myself over out of getting it! Okay, well, we'll have to do the next level, because I'm- I don't know why I tried to still make it to the top of the flag, I should, should have just really played it safe there, but- DISASTER! I've lost all ability to even! Uh, well, that happened. Let's-a-go! Let's-a-go indeed, Luigi. We'll hopefully get it at this point, because it would be nice to get it at some point here. I would really like to have, you know, the rainbow level. 
Well, it'll happen when it happens. Is there anything hidden up here? It doesn't look like it. We'll just go ahead and slowly slide down here. As you can see, this is another one of the, uh, the water levels. Hello, you both murdered yourself. You are clever. But it's a water level of a castle theme, of all things, which is weird because we're not in the castle yet. But we still get the castle theme. I guess we just get bonus castle here. Hidden castle! I don't know, but it is an underwater level and... Like most underwater levels, it's also an auto scroll level. And it has the dry bone fish, which we haven't seen too much of. If you have the tanuki tail, it does make your life a little bit easier because you can just kind of murder the fish with ease. Um, which does make your life somewhat easier if you can keep your your giblets in order. But uh, it's also a little bit risky because the dry bones fish, I mean, the tail is nice, but it's not the most. It, the hitbox is not necessarily the most reliable thing in the world. So you do have to be a little careful when using it. Um, in general, it's best to just avoid conflict when you can. Um, obviously, it's safe to just... Well, it would have been safer. Just, we're going to head up here instead. It's safer up here now, Dry Bones. Once again, you have ruined everything, Dry Bones Fish. No! No! Please! Don't hurt me. So you want to go in this pipe to get the second moon coin. Um, it's pretty much right here. Pretty easy. In fact, they'll actually turn around right when you time it, which makes life really easy to dodge everything and get the moon coin and get out pretty unscathed. So, that ended up pretty well. We'll go ahead and activate the midway point. And here's the tricky thing if I want to show off something interesting, is that we have to keep going without taking a hit, but we need to get our, we need to do that while maintaining this flower over here for a bit. So, let's see if I can, if I can pull this off. It's going to be something I'm going to really try to do here, because I want to show off. There's a reason why they the make you take the much more inferior flower at this point, and that's because there's actually something cool we can do with it, fish! And that's, a uh, activate this thing! Which doesn't give you much, it gives you a few lives, though, which is always nice to have, so grab the lives on the way up, and then just swim your pretty little butt off, because we're going to want to have that. I want this golden flower. I got it! I don't care if I take the hit, I got the golden flower! We're now Blue Luigi again! Yeah! Blue Luigi! Get all the coins! It is auto scroll though, so you kind of have to just get the most you can as you're going through here. So just do what you can to get as much of this as you can, and uh, then make your way forward. We still have the last moon coin to get though, so keep your eyes peeled for that. We are going to want to grab that, obviously. Uh, kill this guy. Get in here. Kill you. Uh, red coins are going to spawn. We can go ahead and just use these uh, jets of air to expediently get them all. He makes like a little laughy laugh when you do that. It's kind of cool. Boom! Murder and the thermal coin is actually pretty easy to get, especially when you have the golden fire, uh, the golden fireballs to murder these fish really easily. So, uh, man, once again, just gonna say it. Luigi looks badass like this. Mario got, don't got anything on blue metal Luigi, for sure, for sure. Screw you, pink metal Peach. We have blue metal Luigi. My powers of blue. So I still don't have the rainbow level. I'm gonna have to get the rainbow level in the next step level again. So let's hopefully not screw that up because uh, apparently getting the rainbows have been decently tricky these days. It's kind of hard to time it, especially for some reason the earlier ones seem a lot easier to like, get to than the later ones. But uh, here we go, guys. Star seven. We only have we have to get 20 lives in the next two levels. My dream of getting 700 lives is. Probably not gonna happen. This level looks scary, but hey, every little bit of life counts for this at least, so... Making progress. Oh, you appeared. I think I do want you, Mr. Leaf. You seem like you will be far more helpful. It is nice to have an actual bonus power in our pocket that's not a golden fire flower, which I feel like I should never use. Can I kill you? Yeah, I can kill you. That makes my life a lot easier if I just get you out of the way, because I don't like you. So, welcome to, uh, to Danger Zone. This lava level is certainly not easy. Uh, time this so you don't get burnt by the potabo. And, you know, I'm just avoiding you because I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, I, yep, this, there's just all sorts of levels of unsafe going on here. Boosh! Dead. Was it worth it for those coins to murder a fire? Well, I'm not really sure how murdering fire even works to begin with, so yes, it was worth it. Anyway, oh, this one I remember has a really tricky, uh, a really, really tricky star coin to find. You have to be really uh, careful of this because it actually. Hello, coins. Uh, uh, fire is everywhere! Oh, I managed to dodge that. Uh, it's actually right here. One, another one of those stupid hidden vines out of nowhere that you have to find. 
Uh, head over here, and then you kind of have to survive through Fireball Death City here. Oh my god, if I didn't have a Tanuki Leaf, I would be all sorts of screwed right now. But I have a Tanuki Leaf, so I'm not. Drop down here, you kind of just bring the sign down with you, which is kind of cool. Where that sign ends up, no one will ever know. Uh, as you can see, the, the vine's right there, so that's all we need to worry about. And that's star code number two. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a protective shield here that will always be nice to have. And then uh, we're just going to kind of automatically lose it because we're going to try and get these red coins and it's really hard to get these red coins without taking a hit here because there's just death, all sorts of everywhere, called it. But you know what? Worth it because I'm still going to get a life, so it's okay. And then we have to get this moon coin, which is not the easiest thing in the world because there's just projectiles everywhere right now. Can we not have projectiles in every location, please? I appreciate it immensely. Hi, you're here. Boosh! You're gone. Goodbye. Nobody likes you. Okay, this time we're gonna have to wait for realsies for 99. So, it's not really necessarily worth cutting because it's only gonna be about 20 seconds, but we'll wait it out. And, uh, guarantee you getting ourselves the rainbow level 5. If I don't screw this up like a goddamn moron. Which I shouldn't because I have a tunic leaf, so I can at least balance it out a little bit better. So, we're gonna go in 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1. Ah! Yeah, having a tunic leaf helps time that. Probably should have timed it. Also, I can count from three to zero, by the way. That was expert levels of counting to three backwards. Words are a thing I spout sometimes. So, will the rainbow level help us get to 700? Doesn't look likely unless I sneak a lifehouse in mysteriously. And I could always do that. I could always be like, ooh, sneaky lifehouse, ooh. But no, the 700 dream does not seem to be real. The 350,000 dream will be real, though, I think, because, uh... Actually, no, that's probably not going to be real either. Ah, uh, life is hard. We're just missing out on all of our dreams today. So, uh, welcome to the final rainbow level of the game. There's just kind of stars everywhere. These, it's kind of tricky to get all the, 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 these coin patterns, because they're a little weird. But then 10 coin things start raining down from the sky, including a 100. So we're going to want to grab the 100 at some point, and then grab this 100 as well if we can. Ayo! And then we get one last, uh... Golden fire flower in our inventory. R.I.P. Inventory. It was fun while it lasted, but now you're gonna be a golden flower again. Easy come, easy go, I suppose. So just grab these last few stars while you can. Fly down here. Grab as many of these cats as you can as you jump down. And 416, not terrible. Um, still very far from our dream, but there we go, guys. That is the rainbow level, and all we have left to do is. Star Castle, and the boss that awaits us. Because there is a boss. It's interesting how it works, you'll see. But this level um, uses a lot of the mechanics we saw in the actual like final castle, which is the whole, oh, you gotta avoid the light, or you get... What? It kills my thing instead? Really? It doesn't damage me. It's not like a hit, hurt, and take damage. No, apparently that one protects you from that, but it's a one-time thing. R.I.P. Coin Head. So it's the same mechanic we have to hide in the things, but this time... If you get hit by that, you're pretty much dead. Because you'll be hanging on these things and doing a bunch of things that pretty much require you to... It's basically just maximum unsafety, so... You really have to hide in these little hidey holes when you can. Okay, I need to get down here. Get up here. Die like a moron. Okay, well, that happened. I panicked. I will give you guys that. I definitely panicked. But, uh, we'll be okay. Because I'm not going to pack this time, but we're going to do it for realsies. That was just a warm-up. That was just me saying, hey, I don't need a Tanuki suit. I can do this like a pro. So, head over here. Hide behind this thing. The problem I have with this level is I'm just really bad at, like, the whole dropping down thing. Because it, it's so... I, I hate letting go of why. It's like my paranoia in Mario games. You want to just, like, not stop hanging out of stuff. But you kind of have to in this one in order to uh, survive. So hide in this little hidey hole. Jump down, hustle your bustle, get into safety, and go! Because yeah, the, the entire name of the game here is basically you are never safe, get to the next safe zone, don't die, drop down here, grab the next moon coin. I think I can just make okay, I'm gonna have to take the hit because I need to I need to I just need to take the hit there. There's no getting around that. I would have died otherwise. And I don't feel like dying today. Not today. So we'll go ahead and uh, get a nice Chinooki leaf back here, and hopefully we can go through the rest of this without dying like a moron. That would be awesome. So that's the plan. 
Um, as you can imagine, the second half is kind of second verse, same as the first. We're gonna have to deal with this guy again, so hide here and go and activate this thing. And this this star coin is the one that's tricky. We're gonna want to go as soon as we can. Jump up here. Oh god, nope. There's 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 no way this is working out well. There's no way this is working out well. Because yeah, I'm flying straight into the lava. It's really hard to time that, especially because I'm just really bad for some reason of navigating those things. It's slow. It's not very fun. That might be the trickiest star coin to get in the game, or moon coin to get in the game. I keep saying that accidentally. Because that this one definitely took me a bit of a, a struggle to get here. But let's see if I can pull it off this time. I don't want to... We're doing this level without any power-ups, guys. This is gonna... This, we're gonna do it. Nope. I'm gonna do it. You know what? I think it actually works out better if you don't wait there. Get this thing activated, because then you can actually make it ahead here a bit, and that actually helps you a bit. So waiting there actually is the fatal flaw there. You can see how much of a difference that made, so don't wait there, actually. That's... I Actually, that really is the best way to go about dealing with this level, is to not wait at that first part. Just book it. Just make it to the next one, because it makes the timing just way better. Oh, that was scary. Oh, you know what? I don't even care about these coins. Nope. Do not care. As you can see, now it's tricky times where you actually time your jumps to not get caught here. Because uh, you actually have to jump into the safe zone, which makes your life even more difficult. But as long as you can handle those, you can make it to the end. See? I didn't need a power up. I was fine. Perfectly fine. And if this door looks familiar, that's because it is, guys. As unfortunate as it is, well, you'll see. You recognize this. You know what's coming. Basically the same thing as before. Gonna just spoil that here. You essentially have to do the exact same thing you did beforehand, which is unfortunate. I want to get up here. I know there's coins. Yeah, there, there's the coins. Found that last time by accident. It was pretty cool. Oh, I don't need your fire. Oh, I can avoid your fire. Oh, I'm so pro. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well this time we can actually do it a Tanuki suit apparently because Basically with the exact same final boss as before, except this time it's Dry Bowser, which is a nice touch, but it's an aesthetic touch. The actual fight itself is pretty much unchanged. So, I'm a little unfortunate how they do that, but uh, basically he shoots blue fire instead. Instead of throwing hammers, he'll throw, uh, well, let's we'll see if we can get him to show it off. Hey, do your thing. Yeah, he throws bones instead. So, like I said, it's basically an aesthetic change. He just has an undead skin on him. But it is a Dry Bowser fight, and you know what? It's still kind of cool. Especially because Dry Bowser was the one introduced by the first new Super Mario Bros. game. So it's a nice little touch, but it's a little weird that the Star World's like, okay, just fight the same final boss as you did before, except he's dead. So dead it or him again. Even though Bowser never really dies. Is Dry Bowser a separate person from Bowser? Are they the same person? Is it ever established? I don't even know. Because in the credits, he wasn't a melting, undead person. But now he is. I don't even know. Why am I even caring about the logistics of a Mario game? They're clearly just insane. Anyway, it's been a bit of a train wreck episode, guys, in some ways, but let's go ahead and finish off the last level of the game with the Dry Bowser fight. So, pretty much the same as before. This time I have a Tanuki suit, though, so... Uh, make our lives a little bit easier, because it makes the jumping, obviously, quite a bit simpler when we can uh, have the extra leeway of falling slower. But it's pretty much the same fight as before, just uh, as soon as he's, his eyes change, he's locked onto you, so get the heck out of the way, go to a different platform, and you'll be okay. And just keep climbing, eventually you'll make it up to the planet. Oh, if I'd be high- oh, I can't see where I am. That was kind of weird, but it worked. Hey, coins! I love coins. I hope you're shooting your fire as usual, wall jumps are the best way to dodge it, not that you need to, but uh... At least the, ep the music is still epic, and that's really what's important. So it's a little unfortunate that they just kind of reuse this. I don't know, it's mixed feelings to me. By the way, in case you're wondering, you can't actually jump on these heads here. Uh, they, do they are not solid enough. I've tried, it doesn't work. It'd be a nice little way to cheese the fight a little bit, but they obviously count for that, so... Not indeed, indeed it's not a thing, just keep your climbing up here and you'll be okay. Like I said, Tanuki is pretty much love and life here, so... Keep using that. It's kind of a little weird when the camera gets so high, so not necessarily the best idea. Oh, oh yep, because then stuff like that happens. Then I'm like, I'm confused. Hi, Dry Bowser. Are you gonna shoot your fire again? Wee! 
Not even difficult, man. You know what? I'll just, I'm gonna do it by ducking. I'm gonna do it while I'm ducking. Oh! That's right. I'm just that much cooler than you. It's cool how uh, Luigi or Mario actually turn to face him when you're standing still. But now we do the badass music. At least, the, like I said, at least the music's badass. And as a soundtrack nerd, a self-proclaimed soundtrack nerd, it is uh, cool. Once again, by the way, these flares will kind of hone on you, so do keep those in mind. You don't want to take unnecessary hits if you don't have to. But I'm going to probe this. Oh! No, I'm not. I'm going to die. I thought he locked onto the left, and he didn't. He locked onto the center. I seriously just died? Once again, I am apparently going to train wreck this episode. That's okay. If you die, grab the mushroom, then hit this block to get the Nuki suit. Don't mess up and you only get mushrooms. That would be dumb. Full, just, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get you, Bowser. I'm going to kill Dry Bowser, whatever the heck you're called. Okay, he's locking on the middle here, I think. Okay, he, oh, what? I still died! No! Ah! Uh, yes. Why am I failing this fight? It's not even hard. Not even hard. Oh, I got all three mushrooms like I said not to do! Ah! Uh. Alright. Let's do this. Don't need mushrooms. Don't, I don't need tanuki suits. I can do this. Alright. Focus. Focus, Luigi. God damn it. You know what? We're doing this! It's time for Blue Luigi to kill everyone! Take no prisoners! Fire everything! <laughs> that worked! Oh my god! That actually worked! <laughs> oh, this was worth all the death. Alright. We're doing this. Super Blue Luigi is here. Taking no prisoners. I'm fighting this guy to the death. It's happening. I'm taking you out, Dry Bowser. Alright, maximum pro here. I really wish I could just fireball you and kill you in one hit here. But you're in the background, so I can't. But that's okay, because I'm shiny and blue. And it's cool. Uh, not gonna die to you today. Not today. Alright, lock on the middle here. And go. Just wait for him to lock on. He locked on. Wait for him to lock on. And just repeat the process. Not difficult, we're fine. Can I just jump up? No, okay. Oh, yes I can. It really looks weird when I do that. Let's not do this. I better get. I better make this happen this time, by the way. I'm gonna be extremely disappointed if Super Blue Luigi does not save the day. It'll be incredibly depressing to me. We need Blue Luigi to be the hero that we deserve. You're locked on there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't screw me over this time. Okay, you're locked on the left there. You're definitely locked on. Now lock on to the right. And move. There we go. Got the rhythm. Uh, I need a platform here. Thank you. And lock on to here and jump across. And... Should be near the top here. Yeah. I think we can get up here. Okay. One more try. We got this. We can do this. Time to be a pro. Let's do this fight. Go! Blue Luigi! I am so shiny! I can yell louder than you. Oh god, I don't know what he locked on to. He locked in the middle. Okay. Focus. Focus. He's locked on there. We're okay. Gonna make him lock onto this one over here. Move over here. Make him lock onto the middle here. Oh god, there's like no other platforms. Uh, okay, we're okay. Lock on over here. Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, lock onto the left here. Good. Oh, the platform's right there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Huh? Oh god. I can't. I can make it. I can make it. Go! Wait. 
we gotta taunt him a bit first. Because it's cool, because he actually, uh, basically if you don't hit the button, I hit the button. Well, if you don't hit the button, he basically just shoots his fire infinitely, and you just have to keep dodging it, so nothing will happen, but... I also got 100 coins for doing that! That's right, Blue Luigi wins the day! I am the man in blue! Look how much I sparkle, though, it's beautiful. And I got 100 coins for doing that, so that was kind of cool. Alright, well, it was a train wreck, but we had a really cool result in the end. Showing off how to do this with the golden flower. Doing it with style. And with that, guys, every moon coin in the game, every level in the game, every everything in the game, and this will actually add two stars to our profile. In fact, we're going to save it, and we're going to quit, and I will show you guys precisely uh, what our profile looks like before we end the episode. So we head back here. Our profile now has four stars. They're shiny stars, by the way. Uh, the shine actually does mean something. It means you've never activated, or you've never had the uh, the white tanuki leaf activate for you, which happens if you die too much on a level. So I never died so much that I got that to appear, which means my stars stay shiny. If they do uh, get unshiny, just beat the level that rebeat the level uh, that you had the thing trigger without making it trigger this time and you can get your shine back. So uh, if you had like, um, say on 6-1, you made the block appear, finish 6-1, go back and re-beat 6-1 without making the block trigger and you'll actually get your shine back. As far as I'm aware, that's how it works. Didn't quite make it to 350,000, but we'll be doing that when we get to Coin Rush, guys. This game still isn't over yet. We still have Coin Rush to do and we will be doing that in the next episode, guys. So this is Lucky70X signing out. Stay tuned for words. Oh my god, that was just stressful. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.